Good morning. It's coffee talk. 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 Today is New Year's Eve. Today is New Year's Eve and we are closing up 2022 and we are opening up to 2023. And um, what I'd like to jump on here with you guys today is to offer you something that we were talking about in the car yesterday when we were thinking of like, what is one word that would sort of symbolize or, or lay out how 2022 has been for you? If you could pick one word, what would you say it has been for you? All right. Some of folks were saying it's transformative. Uh, for me, it was courageous. I had to be very courageous to get on here every day and talk. Maybe you got some clarity about something. What would the word be if you could summarize the entire 2022 with one word, what would it be? And then going forward, 2023, what is the word you're leaning into? What is that word that's going to be what you're leaning into for the next year? Now, so that's your first ponder. So I, I was thinking about getting on here today and I was thinking about the difference between vision and envision, right? Vision and envision. So vision is like the faculty of being able to see, right? Envision is the faculty, the ability to see the imagination of what could be happening in the future. So I'm imagining what I can see versus what I can see, right? We have that different ways of lens. Remember what we're seeing is just light, right? And then we have all these filters and all these lenses of what we mean, what it means that we're seeing, which may not always be true, right? We've talked about that over the last couple of days. What comes in may not be the way you're reading it. And therefore you're having this entire scenario happening that never even happened right? You have a different belief than this person and the two minds aren't meeting. So as we sit here in today's uh, ponder, and as you take the vision workshop that I'm going to be sending out tomorrow, um, all you got to do is email me for it. It's free. But as you ponder this, I'd like you to decide how you want to show up. So we're being deliberate here in what we vision, what we have in our sights versus what we envision, what we have in our sights in the future. Okay. So there's three main ways I like to look at it. Number one, the circumstances of your life. You've got an injury. Uh, you uh, have some financial hardship. You uh, are unhappy with some of the relationships you've got going on. Like whatever the rainy day is for you, whatever's happening in your life, you might change the way you see it. Maybe what you're learning in this next year is I'm going to change the way I look at my husband. I'm going to change the way I look at my relationship to my mother living or passed on. I'm going to move my mind in a different way that serves me from what's just generally happening in my, in my life, my circumstances. Okay. That's number one. Number two, I'm going to calibrate how I feel about certain things. How do I want to feel today? doesn't matter what's happening in my life. I want to feel productive. I want to feel joyful. I want to feel peaceful. I want to feel content. So I'm not going to let other people or other situations affect the way I am deliberately setting up to the way I want to feel. Okay. And I know I can hear some of you being like, um, this is out of alignment with maybe the way you think of it. Um, this is the way that has really served me. It serves me to think that I am the driver of this human ship. I'm the driver of what I think about. I'm the driver of how I feel. I'm the driver to work through and deliberately assign how I want to show up. I'm the driver of this. So in yoga philosophy, we often talk about the, uh, well, before I tell you that, let's go to the third. The third thing is designing how I want to be showing up. So I'm looking now at the results. So the first one is deciding how I want to think about the things happening in my life. The second one is deliberately assigning how I want to feel today, how I want to feel today and not letting anything affect that. And then the third thing is, what do I want to happen this year? What do I want to happen this week? What do I want to happen to this relationship? And so deciding how you're going to show up by the results that you're wanting. So if you're wanting to um, get married, or if you're wanting to uh, upgrade your condo to a home, or you're wanting to lose a job or whatever, 
what do I have to do? What are the bridges that I have to cross in order to get that? And that's what's going to give me the clarity of how I think and how I feel to show up because the feelings are our gasoline. Okay. Yoga philosophy, they talk about how, you know, we have a carriage and then we have these horses, right? So the carriage is the brain. This is just the organ of the brain, right? The driver of the carriage is you, is your human self. Okay. My human self, the reins, right? The reins that we hold on to are the mind. So the brain versus the mind. And then the horses that pull the carriage are our thoughts. Okay. So if we don't steer our mind, the thoughts run wherever they want to. They could run rampant. They could be re recycling negative negativity or low self-esteem or insecurity or uh, addiction or all the things that you know that your thoughts can, can take you to if you're not mindful, right? But the driver, what you are, the human, is you get to take the reins and you get to steer depending upon, I want to go to Paris. I'm going to turn and lead myself to Paris. I'm going to take a yoga retreat. I'm going to turn my thoughts to how can I have this yoga retreat, right? You get to steer your mind. It's not just happening to you. Although most of us, as I've, as I've said, 55% of our lives are lived, lived unconsciously. We're not even aware of what we're doing. So this mindful awareness is taking back the reins of your life. Okay. So if you are interested in upgrading, elevating, expanding, opening, um, being more deliberate in the next year, then ponder what I'm saying here today. You got three choices. You can change the way you think about things, right? You can change the way you feel about things, settling in on what do I want to feel in my life? How do I want to show up today? Or third, you can decide this is what I'm wanting at the end of the year, at the end of the quarter, at the end of the month. That's what I want. How am I going to get there? What do I have to do step by step, bridge by bridge in order for me to get there? Okay. So that's some ways that you can start to really feet on the ground and get things done. If I can help you, it would be a great privilege to help you. Um, my women's group, my yoga classes, as I said yesterday, just getting to the yoga mat, just disciplining your mind is really what yoga is all about, right? Just getting to the mat, just watching me get to the mat is a step towards you getting in alignment. So, um, or the yoga retreat, I've got a couple spots left, January 13th through the 15th. I'm going to hold you. And we're going to do some deep uh, calibrating with the community of people. We're going to have lots of uh, time to relax, time to jump into a heated swimming pool. We're going to do jacuzzis. We're going to take really nourishing yoga classes. We're going to have delicious food delivered to you. There's no dishes. There's no babies crying. There's nothing. Just you being with you. And if I can hold you in that, I would love to. Um, as always, I want this work to be of deep, 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 deep benefit to you. I'm very excited about this new year and all the things that I'm wanting to accomplish. What about you? Are you excited about this new year, right? Are you excited about it? I challenge you to uh, take a moment today, or take a moment tomorrow to really think about what is it I'm wanting out of my life? How am I wanting to feel? What do I think about my life thus far? And is that enough for me? Or do I need to take some, some pauses and sort of clean some stuff up? And again, if I can help you, reach out. Deep bows, so much love from me to you. I will see you next time. And namaste.